Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the basic understanding about semantic analysis phase. This basic understanding will help you a lot in understanding our next classes. So in order to understand this, you, the, you should have some basic understanding about the previous classes, lexical analysis and uh, semant uh, syntax analysis phase. Uh, based on the exemption, you already know those concepts. We are going to explain the concept. Uh, watch the class till the end for better understanding. Coming to today's class. Uh, so let's try to understand what semantic analysis means. Uh, First, we will refresh the concept of what we have discussed previously for a minute, then we go into semantic analysis. So, we are taking the source code. This code is given as input to the lexical analysis phase. In the lexical analysis phase, we are writing a program to take the source code and convert that code into tokens. These tokens are taken as input to the syntax analysis phase. These tokens are taken as input to the syntax analysis phase and it is going to identify syntactically correct or not and it is going to give the syntax tree. This is the output for the syntax analysis. This is taken as input to the semantic analysis phase. Let's try to understand what we are going to check in semantic analysis phase. We are taking C programming language. If you if you are going to check for A is equal to B plus C expression in C programming language, you can take any language. Each language has its own semantic conditions. Let's try to understand what's the conditions we have in our in C programming language. So first one is whenever you are going to check the syntax, whether the statement is syntactically correct or not, then we need to check one more thing also what's that uh, we have written some conditions for c programming what's those conditions uh, if you are assigning a value to a variable a before assigning means before defining the value uh, before defining a it should be declared that is the condition we have to check in c language this condition is not there in python so based on the programming language uh, conditions changes and one more thing uh, variable should be declared before defined the second thing is a uh, type casting if you are doing some action b plus c both are having the same type or not that is what we have to check uh, otherwise we need to do some action based on the types that present for these two variables uh, so we have to do some actions in c language uh, these type of conditions we comes under semantic analysis phase uh, okay so now in order to do the semantic analysis one way we can do that take the input of take the syntax tree that is the output that we got from syntax analysis phase as input to the semantic analysis we need to write a program and check the semantic conditions this is one way but no uh, most of them will not follow these conditions so this way so this writes sub, so one way is writing separate program we are writing a separate program no we don't write a separate program based on the based on the whatever program we have written in syntax analysis phase during the execution of syntax analysis phase we are going to check the semantic conditions also how we do that how do we write the program that understanding will be provided in this class in our next class we do some examples how we do that and what are the what are the conditions how we write the conditions all, all those things so let's take an example this is the basic grammar which we are following in our previous classes the same grammar we are going to take e tends to e plus t this is the expression grammar if you are following top down approach we discuss two top two top down approaches that is recursive descent or ll1 you take any program whenever it, you are finding to evaluate the syntax of the expression let's take an expression a plus b e is going to evaluate in top down approach e tends to e plus t e is evaluated t t tends to f f is id then it is going to check for plus then it is going to expand t and it is going to check for id then a plus b has been identified how it is going to expand leftmost derivation tree is going to get in top down approach so when it is going like this this is how it is going to evaluate expand the x context free grammar that is given so whenever this e plus t this production has been finished yes you can write the code here to check the semantic conditions how we write that let's take this for this grammar if you are following recursive descent parsing 
how we write the code in our recursive descent parsing technique for each non terminal we are going to write a function e is a non terminal that's why we have written a function for e e is going to call e of if input is equal to plus then call t of t of is the function so this is the function this is the body of the function for e after completion of this function yes here you can write the semantic logic is it compulsory to write the logic after completion of this function no wherever you want to check you can write after checking the if condition you can write after calling the e function you can write the semantic logic according to your requirement see in this example we are going to check the type casting of two variables after completion of this evaluation e plus t so that's why we will write like this e of the same code we are adding the semantic logic so after completion of e of if input is equal to plus t of is called after completion of t after coming out of if we are going to check the semantic logic code should be written here so this is how we will write the code not only like not only in checking the semantic conditions the same way we can the same way whenever we are discussing about the lex, uh, phases of compiler uh, first lexical analysis phase uh, after uh, its uh, uh, semantic analysis uh, no its syntax analysis phase then we go with semantic analysis phase uh, after that we are going to check for a three address code we are converting our day our uh, analysis into three address code you can write the code here to convert our program into three address code also these points are very important to understand our next classes so so that uh, so this is how we write not only in uh, top down approach you can write this uh, sin, uh, this uh, semantic conditions uh, even in bottom up approach uh, so writing semantic logic when we are going to reduce the action uh. In bottom up approach we are not going to expand we are going to reduce during the reduce action you can write the logic whatever the way you want to write the logic you can write that logic here so this is the basic understanding for semantic analysis in our next class we are going to discuss in-depth understanding about semantic analysis hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you